craft time. Hey crafty kids, it's Teacher Plum and I'm super excited to be back with another awesome craft time segment with you guys. I hope you're all doing well and are ready to get creative. But of course, before we start, I want to give a big shout out to Shalom, Kaden, Benjamin, and Henry. Hi kids! So for today's craft, we are going to be making a basket full of flowers that says Happy Mother's Day because it's Mother's Day today. So to make this craft, we will need, of course, a paper plate. We'll also need brown paper. So in my brown paper, I already printed out the template for our handle and the template for our basket weave. So you can find that linked in our video. Next, we have five different flowers printed on different colored paper. And again, you can find the links to the templates in the links in our video. So we have yellow, yellow orange, pink orange, and lilac. Of course, we'll also be needing 100 GSM of white paper, a pair of scissors, double-sided tape or glue, and a bunch of coloring materials like what I have on my right hand. All right, so we've got all our materials ready. So let's get crafting. Let's start by getting the base of our card. So this is just regular 100 GSM paper, but you can use something thicker if you have at home. Next, let's take half of our paper plate. So I went ahead and I cut the paper plate in two. So we're only gonna use one half. Let's get some glue. I'm using a glue stick. And on the right side up of the paper plate, let's put glue on the curved part. Don't put glue here on the straight line because this is gonna be the opening of our basket. So now that I have enough glue over here, I'm gonna flip this over and paste it just right here in the off-center of my paper. Next, I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna get the flowers that I printed on different colored paper. So I have one, two, three, four, five different flowers and I'm just gonna cut one piece per design. now I have my cut flowers. So I'm gonna take the base of my card again and using glue, I'm just gonna stick the flowers here in the opening of the basket. So you can arrange it in any way that you like and I think mine is gonna look like this. Then I'm just gonna get these flowers, apply some glue at the back and just carefully stick them on place. Now this part is optional. You can get some crayons or some markers and you can color the centers of your flowers. I'm going to take a pink marker and color this lilac flower. Some orange for this yellow flower. How about we try crayons? Let me take green over here and red for my last flower. Of course, if you want, you can also add some stems using some markers. Just flick some lines over here like so. And I'm going to use some yellow green to add some of the leaves. Get creative in designing your basket. So the next step is to get the brown paper and cut out a handle. So this is what my handle looks like, but 
you can make any handle that you want. If you want it a bit more round, then you can draw a rounder handle. Or you can even leave the craft without the handle if you don't want to put the handle. Again, using some glue, I'm just gonna glue the ends of my basket's handle to the paper plate like this. So now I have these thin strips of brown paper and we can now make our basket weave. Let's take our glue and we're just gonna place one strip on the basket's opening. If there is any excess of the strip, just take some scissors but be very careful please and cut the excess. Next, let's take another strip and place it here, just a little farther, leaving a little space in between the two strips. Of course, if you have time and if you're up for it, you can actually make a weave by overlapping these strips. You can ask help from your parents or from your guardians. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut according to the shape of the paper plate. And now let's make the horizontal stripes. So I'm gonna take my paper and cut it into two. stick these on like this. I'm sure each basket that you're gonna make is gonna be unique. And of course, the last step is to cut the excess strips. And we're actually done with our craft. But since today is Mother's Day, we can write Happy Mother's Day here under our basket. And ta-da! We're now done with our basket full of flowers that doubles up as our Mother's Day card. Great job, everyone! So the story of Ruth is a long one. But in one scene, we find her gleaning in the fields of Boaz. She probably put the stalks of grain in a basket, much like our craft for today. You see, a basket. But because it's Mother's Day today, we put flowers instead of grain in the basket so we can give these cards to our moms or our mother figures for our greeting cards for them. So I wrote, Happy Mother's Day, but you can write, I love you, Mom, Happy Mother's Day, or you're the best mom ever. Let's remember Ruth's story and how God helped her through tough times. Just like God took care of Ruth, He loves us and He watches over us too. In fact, He gave us our moms and mom figures to help us. So whenever we face hard things, we can trust that God will be with us and He will help us get through it. Keep being creative and keep following God. See you next week, Crafty Kids. Bye!